Congratulations, class of 2020 physics majors and minors. It seems like only yesterday I was harassing you in waves and vibrations, and now here you are getting ready to graduate. I have to say that in my 32 or so years here at BC, you are the most uniformly excellent class that I can recall. Uniformly excellent academically and, frankly, personally. You're a great group of kids. Um, it was saddening to think you're not going to get a normal graduation because of this pandemic. However, it gave us an opportunity to think of some special way to be able to acknowledge the graduation of a special class. So, I hope you enjoy the video that we put together for you. I hope you enjoyed your time with us. Or if I may, in the words of Billy Joe Armstrong. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. Hope you had the time of your life. Go get them, class of 2020. Hey, physics majors of the class of 2020. Congratulations on your graduation from BC. You can see that I'm celebrating here. It's been great having you as a part of our department, and I wanted to wish you the best in whatever directions your life trajectory takes you next. And wherever that may be, don't forget your statistical physics and thermodynamics. Congratulations. I know the future right now seems extra scary. Don't know which way things will go. It can be kind of hairy. But just remember how far you've come. That's right. You heard it here first. You ain't no bums. In my time, I've talked quite a few. I can say with great confidence, you're smarter than you knew. Just don't forget that Feynman quote, if you think you understood quantum, well, then you don't. I hope you all learned a lot. It was fun to teach ya. Sorry if my homework's made ya see a preacher. Truth is, you didn't really need me. Amazing things are in your future, see? I hope you all feel this wasn't too corny. I just can't wait to see the rest of your story. Happy graduation, class of 2020. Peace. Professor Burke. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish we could have finished the, the year differently. We all do. Um, but I can't wait to find out what's next for you guys. You're a great group. You showed so much leadership. And I'm excited for you as you head off into this next chapter. Please keep in touch. Greetings to physics majors in the Boston College class of 2020. It's Professor Joe here. I want to join the department in extending my deepest congratulations on your graduation. What a remarkable achievement that testifies to the hard work that you've dedicated over the last four years. I want to especially thank Thomas and Zach for your contributions during the formation of my lab. Your energy and creativity jumpstarted my lab at a time when I most needed it. To the entire class of 2020, I wish you continued success in your human journey, wherever it takes you. As you go your separate ways in this world, like many particles from a single exploding body, I hope you remember that you are forever bonded by the time you spend together here at BC. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi, everybody. Congratulations. Graduation is one of the most important milestones in your life, and it's too bad that we cannot celebrated with you properly due to pandemic. However, we hope that you will be visiting us soon. And if not, good luck with your uh, future careers and please do not forget about us. Goodbye. Hi everybody, how are you doing? I hope uh, you're home and you're safe. Um, and um, I would like to start by congratulating you all on uh, your upcoming graduation. Um, it is truly unfortunate that this viral pandemic happened uh, right at the eve on, on the at the time of your uh, graduation. Um, we, as the faculty, we kind of feel bad about this, um, and therefore we wanted to record uh, our voices, reach out to you, and um, do something little um, just to tell you how important you are to all of us and how happy we are for you. Um, on my own end, I would like to specifically thank you all for 
uh, being such a wonderful class, being so patient with me. Um, you were the very first uh, class to whom I taught Quantum 2. Uh, it was the very first undergraduate class that I taught. And uh, I have to say that uh, I was uh, lucky to have you as my students. You were very attentive uh, to the class. Uh, you were participating um, seriously in the class, asking great questions. You did really well with all the homework and all the exams. And I was just truly lucky to have you as my first uh, experience in teaching undergraduate courses. Um, I have no doubts that all of you will do really well in the future. Based on what I've seen from you, you're a remarkable bunch, wonderful number of students. Um, and I have no doubts that you will be successful in everything you do in the future. Um, so uh, please accept my deepest gratitude and uh, be, uh, take, try to take some time and enjoy uh, your graduation, celebrate it. Uh, with your uh, family and remotely uh, with your friends. Um, if you ever happen to come back to Boston uh, for a visit, I will be really happy to see you again and keep in contact with you and see what you're up to. Um, other than that, I wish you all the best, wish you all the best in everything you do in the future um, and hope to see you again soon. Take care. Hi, everybody. Congratulations to graduate this year. My name is Xiao Chen, a new assistant professor in the department. I've been here only for several months. So this probably is my first time to talk with you guys. I'm currently running on Commonwealth Avenue. This section has a more famous name called the Heartbreak Hill. It's the hardest part of the Boston Marathon because it's at a mile 20 and uh, it's a very long and tedious up here. At the top of the hill is Boston College, the place that you have been living for several years. After the Boston College, it's all the way down to the finish line. The last five miles is easy and uh, very re relaxed. So I hope you guys all oh, have a great future, like the last five miles of Boston Marathon. Hold your pace and enjoy it. Hello, this is Professor Bedell. I'm here to uh, congratulate the class of 2020 of BC physics majors on getting their diploma and graduating uh, from Boston College. I also wanted to make it a little bit formal, um, but I didn't have all of my academic regalia. I have my hat, um, beret, and the tassel, uh, which is a symbolic uh, position. Um, and just uh, to remind you when, uh, when and if uh, there is a ceremony, uh, you'll go through the process of doing the uh, change in the tassel. Right now I have it as the person who doesn't have the degree. And in a moment, um, it will take just a few seconds uh, uh, to get to it. Uh, you need to take your tassel and move it to the other side. That is the left side. Um, I, I think it is. Um, yeah, so it is the left side, um, and uh, it is a process of uh, finishing those four years or so of undergraduate uh, physics, and the symbolic thing is you're going on in principle to something newer, better, hopefully, um, and hopefully um, free of uh, the current uh, COVID uh, pandemic. Um, the, let's see, I wanted to add a little bit more. The, the, the symbolic uh, nature of this is just the, one of the things that uh, I remember in my day when I graduated, which is one of those decades, of, many decades ago. Um, I think we had a tassel thing or we would take our hats and toss them through the air. Um, Unfortunately, too many people got hurt doing that, so I think they eventually stopped doing it. 
Um, but the idea was tossing off the hat was probably some sort of symbolic measure of, you know, we're getting the heck out of this college and going back uh, into the real world and, uh, and hopefully become uh, successful. Um, but one of the things, uh, after all of the ceremonies, uh, the, the big ceremony in the field and the big ceremony in the College of Arts and Sciences, where you're handed your degree, uh, the department has always done a party, or almost always um, done a party after all the big ceremonies in the department. And this is, for me, the, the one thing that uh, I really enjoy about the graduation uh, ceremony is to see all the students uh, that have graduated, both undergraduate and graduate students, and and in addition their families. Uh, we get to meet your mothers and your fathers and sisters and brothers, and then we kind of find out uh, wh why you are here and why why you are you. Um, and it's a to me it's a big loss not to have it, uh, but uh, there might be bigger losses if we did have it. Um, but in any case, uh, I do hope to see you in uh, sometime, um, and hopefully uh, maybe part uh, sometime around the summer or maybe later on. I forgot what the school's plan was for a possible graduation ceremony. But it would be great to see you all in person, and I hope uh, you all are feeling well, and uh, with that, I would like to take this time to make a, ho a toast, and congratulations, don't drink too much. But Hi, this clip is to congratulate the graduating physics seniors in the class of 2020. I've had several of you in my computational physics class, um, and uh, you were a very strong group, and it was uh, a lot of fun teaching you. Uh, I want to leave you with three points I emphasized in the course, um, if you remember. Uh, the first is that a square matrix is a verb. You know what to do with it. Uh, the second is that we are primates, and what distinguishes primates is a whopping big visual cortex um, at the back of the head. And, uh, that's your GPU. If you ever have data that you want to analyze, you want to display it graphically. The third point is that uh, in physics, the Hamiltonian generates dynamics. Dynamics means change. Change provides opportunity. So, uh, I wish you all the best for making the most of the opportunities change is going to provide you. Good luck. Father O'Peel here. I'm coming to you from my Jesuit community via video because your graduation has been interrupted by the pandemic of COVID-19. Nonetheless, this is an important moment in your life and I wanted to congratulate you on all your accomplishments and knowledge as you graduate from Boston College. I want to wish the graduates of the class of 2020 must prosperity and happiness as you move out into the world. As St. Ignatius said to his dear friend, St. Francis Xavier on his way to the Far East and beyond, go set the world aflame. God bless, I salute you. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations. You've succeeded in having a great three and three quarters years on Boston College campus. The last quarter year might be a little bit more effort, but uh, you're pulling through. You know, there's a lot of talk these days of resilience in your generation and whether college students are resilient enough, but the fact that you're getting through and you will graduate on time shows you have enormous resilience to face the hardship you've been encountered with through no fault of your own, but uh, congratulations on doing that. All by itself. Looks like you have the distinction of being the last year of Gen Z and the first year of Gen Zoom. So congratulations on that. We always were wondering what's going to come after Z and generations and 
you guys defined it. But in all seriousness, you've, uh, you've, done, you've all done a great job. I haven't had all of you in class, but those I did have, and I saw the rest of you around. I saw you working hard a lot, second floor, third floor, talking to each other, working late at night, weekends, just what you're supposed to do in physics. Physics isn't easy as you figured out, but it's worth it. Hope you all have great careers, whatever you do next, grad school, employment, med school. Uh, you're all going to do great. It was a pleasure having you around for the last four years, and I wish we could have a big event for you in the usual way on campus, but we're doing the best we can this way. And I want to leave you just a little simple state statement. I don't know who it's attributed to. Some people say G.B. Shaw, but uh, life is not about finding yourself. <clears throat> life is about creating yourself. So best of luck in the rest of your futures and go out there and start creating yourself and as we say at Boston College, set the world aflame. Hey guys, um, first I want to say congrats, well done, graduating. Um, I know I've, uh, we've been through quite a bit in the past few years, I thought. Uh, for most of you, um, two of your classes, and it's, you know, we've had a lot of fun, um, I think, discussing Gauss's law and central equation. <laughs> And things like that. Um, it's kind of uh, sad that we get to say goodbye this way, but I think I kind of, uh, we said our goodbyes a little bit for at least most of you when you stop by in my office, maybe um, the day before, you know, uh, the dean kicked you guys off campus to go back home. So it was, uh, it was a nice few minutes we got to chat, but in any case, um, yeah, I just wanted to say congrats, and like I know all of you are off to uh, great things um, after BC, uh, if it's condensed metaphysics or not, including engineering or political science or music. Um, I know you've done great, and you're certainly my favorite class I got here in the in the past you know, five years I've been um, at BC. I miss you very dearly. So. Um, when you, um, you know, if you're in Boston or BC area and want to stop by, you know, to discuss um, you know, phone lines or whatever, feel free to stop by my office and like I'll be, I'll be happy to chat. I'm all, also always just an email away. So uh, yeah, good luck. I'll miss you and you know, stay in touch. Hello, physics seniors. Our intrepid 2020 seniors. I wish I could say it's very nice to see you. I wish even more you could say it's nice to see me. But we are where we are. Well, I have to first say it was a great pleasure to see all of you, well, almost all of you, on your last day on campus when you bonded beautifully and came together to the physics department uh, to celebrate togetherness. There is something good that comes uh, from even the most awful things like this plague we're living through. And it was really a great joy to see you there sharing good spirit. And by the way, Please send me a copy of some of these irreverent photos we took. But hush, hush, don't share this with anybody. This is our secret. Well, we are all looking forward uh, in the physics department to seeing you at the commencement, which uh, will happen. And I think uh, it will be in an absolutely special time. Commencement like no other class in the history of Boston College had. It will be most memorable. And I think uh, all physics faculty will be there. I think this is scheduled for mid-September. Maybe this will change. Um, I don't know. But um, certainly, we're looking forward to seeing you for real then. In the meantime, if you allow me, and um, 
we are in a slightly uh, difficult position for disallowing me. So there we are again. Um, I want to share a few thoughts for this, for this time of pandemic. Now I know, I know, you don't want to hear advice. We're hearing advice all the time uh, about what we should do. And in particular, um, this is not a commencement. And if you, in fact, uh, were to choose a commencement speaker, God knows that would be the last one you would choose. But still, I want to share three thoughts with you for this, for this time. Well, the first one is when you feel really down and when you find that life is throwing one difficulty after another in your path and when you're upset and um, near the end of your rope, Think of others. Um, many of us are still very lucky. I am certainly extremely lucky to have a job, to have um, a house. And many people are not so lucky. Um, there have been um, about 200,000 people dead. Uh, their families are suffering beyond belief. In the United States, uh, there's lots of homeless people, people who have precarious situations at home, who can't pay rent, who have, don't have jobs. I think it helps to put things in perspective when you think about others. So this is a good thing to do, and for many other reasons. The second thing is, be a witness. We live through unprecedented times. I'm an old man, as you know, and as you can see. But uh, I've never been through anything like this. This is, at most, once in a lifetime uh, event. So remember it. Record it in your memory. You can even record it um, in a diary and think about what's happening in this world and what it reveals about all of us, about our government, about our situation, about our country. And, um, and take it as an experience. There's an old saying, you know, that experience is what you get when you didn't get what you wanted. So that's an experience that we all have. And by the way, sometimes some children, maybe your own, will ask you perhaps what it was like. You'll have a story to tell, a really interesting story to tell. And my last thought is think about other things. We are absolutely bombarded by news about masks and uh, social distancing and numbers and this, that, and the other. And it may be overwhelming at times. But you know, there are lots of other things happening and lots of other things may be happening. And there is an opportunity to have an intensified intellectual life. Look, there are books. Books are vehicles for being elsewhere. I've been reading uh, up to a storm, you know, if that's the proper expression. I've been reading a lot. There's music. I've been listening a lot to music. There is poetry. There's all kinds of ways of bonding with others. And you've obviously experienced and engaged in it. There are hobbies. There are things you can do. Perhaps you can go for a walk. Perhaps you can go in the garden and see how the spring is developing. And there are many other opportunities 
to explore things that are not connected 